and welcome everyone. I'll need to bag one close up this time, so I'm going to grab my bow and find a spot to bring in a deer. I've been waiting for an excuse to use some of my new equipment, so today's the day. Hope wants to see if I can get one at close range. I'll be required to travel to Renaki Highs and harvest a whitetail or blacktail deer down within 45 meters. I haven't spent much time in the Renaki Highs area yet, so I don't have much intel on need zones. However, I do know that Renaki Highs is well outside the home range for blacktails, so whitetails will be the targeted species. Whitetails are my favorite species to hunt on Leighton and can be tough to sneak up on because of their excellent sense of smell. I decided to mix it up and try out an ambush strategy to bring one to me instead of me going to them. First, I'll have to find a need zone. Bows are most effective at about 40 meters, so some 420 grain arrows fits the mission perfectly. I wanted to try out a few fancy toys via DLC, so I'm going to depart from vanilla this time. I want to set up a stand like the tree stand near the need zone. Use the remote electronic collar to bring them in. And perhaps the handheld collar to close the rest of the distance. For this I'll be combining equipment from the tree stands and tripods pack, the tents and ground blinds number one, and the high-tech hunting pack DLCs. A similar strategy can be done with vanilla. Just grab a bow with some 420 green arrows and a collar, find a need zone, and hide close to a tree or in a bush to reduce your visibility, all while watching your windage. So first things first, I spawned into the Renaki Western Outpost and began traveling north to scout for some whitetail need zones. Areas with in-game blinds present generally means that there's an elevated animal activity in that area, so my destination was the hunting stand to the north. I found plenty of animals in need zones, but unfortunately none of them were for whitetails. With no immediate luck, I marked some dead-end roads that turned out to be the Renaki hiking cabins. Found them. I thought about making a move, but knowing that they had already been alerted, decided to scout the zone and put down a setup. This little meadow looked like a great spot, so I set down a tent and began deploying my equipment. I wanted to use a tree stand, but discovered that none of the trees in the area were suitable to deploy in. So I exchanged the tree stand for a ground blind and set it up on the high side of the meadow. Next, I grabbed a spare tent and set it up about 250 meters away from the hunting area to assure that I won't spook the deer away when I spawn in later. Lastly, I set up the remote electronic collar about 30 meters away from the blind to bring them in close enough to take a shot. The next day, when the time was right, I fast traveled into the tent. I snuck into the blind and waited for the deer. It felt strangely like sitting in a blind in real life as I sat there for ages without any luck. This type of thing happens from time to time, so I went back to the tent, reset the time, and tried again. This time, there they were. So I snuck in and tried the electronic collar. I waited patiently in hopes that a male would get within the 45 meter range. But they weren't getting any closer, so I tried the handheld collar.
A nice buck sat just within range, but I wanted to get him a little closer. Unfortunately, the smaller buck came up to the blind and spooked, scaring the whole herd away. I hoped they would come back in, but they were already headed for the hills. With my luck run out, I went back to the tent and tried again. At first it looked like bad luck again, as I didn't see or hear anything at the blind. But then my luck changed. A good hit. I found the buck's blood trail and spotted him quickly. Looks like he got caught between the cabin and the clothes pole. Makes for an easy recovery for me. This level 2 male scored 220. He would have made gold, but the arrow hit too high and caught him in the spine and shoulder, missing the vitals. It's been a minute since I used the bow, so I guess I need a little practice. But I got him at 39 meters, so he will qualify for the objective. So that's how I completed hope number 5. If this video was helpful or you learned something along the way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be adding more of these guides as I go along with my progression, so be sure to check in for more Call of the Wild content. Thanks for watching!